Uh, for me, weaning onto a raw food diet, which will have innately have some uh, variability, um, and also the calcium and phosphorus ratios are perfect because you're feeding bone in order to grow bone. So it's not that we have to kind of scientifically calculate the ratio of the calcium and the phosphorus. It is there. Also, the the diet. Uh, a, a raw food diet for, for pups contains a lot of cartilage, okay? And cartilage is uh, made up from these uh, uh, proteoglycan molecules, um, and we use chondroitin and glucosamine, okay? Um, so the way I look at it is that if you've been giving your animals a, uh, a good mineral and vitamin uh, nutrition in the food and it's got lots of cartilage in there as uh, when they're young then you're setting great foundations um, so that when they get older their joints are in better shape um, if you've got an older animal and you uh, want to do everything you can for their for their joints then a raw food diet is great it helps to regulate weight it helps to um, provide natural um, cartilage precursors. Yeah, I often use a chondroitin glucosamine supplement as well, but that's that's in addition as a nutraceutical. But um, I find that uh, a raw food diet uh, will 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 be very beneficial to stiff or arthritic dogs and cats.